Hey, Guru Nation, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. Um, I've been, we actually redid one of our CRA Academy modules. You can see our brand new logo behind me. And uh, we did week eight this week, miscellaneous and investigational product accountability. And you know what? The more we unpack this topic of investigational product accountability, the more we realize just how many places there are for inconsistencies. So let me explain. When you do investigational product accountability, there's five things that you need to worry about. Here's the five things. The investigator product accountability log, so the master IP accountability log, each individual subject IP accountability log. Then you have the EDC system itself. Then you have the actual pills or the IP, maybe it's an infusion, whatever it is, usually it's pills, or if it's biologic, or if it's a device, whatever, the actual IP itself, let's not forget that, you actually have to look at it physically, if you can. And finally, uh, is the diaries, I almost forgot. <laughs> the fifth one sometimes is the diaries, or otherwise known as a patient reported outcome, where the patients actually write down in their diary, that they took their drug or not. That, that fifth one's not always there, but four or five places where inconsistencies could be had. So as a CRA, I mean, if you save IP accountability for your closeout visit, you're gonna be in serious trouble. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. We tell all of our students this in every module, don't ignore IP accountability. It's like going to the gym. Don't skip leg day. Your leg is the foundation. Your lower body is the foundation for your entire body. Uh, IP accountability, that's where a lot of safety issues are. Under compliance, over compliance. That's where possibly um, inconsistencies are. That's where deviations may be. That's where temperature excursions may arise. So there's a lot of sneaky things that could sneak up on you with IP accountability. And I know everybody's, all the CRAs are busy doing source data verification, source data review, regulatory maintenance. Don't forget investigational product. It's very easy to forget and it could cause a lot of problems if you do. So just wanted to make a quick short video for you guys. Take care.